Hey guys, we're back. So, yeah, so last time just had the board in. Now I've plugged in the USB C to micro USB adapter. And I've started cable managing it so that it's a bit flatter. And eventually you just press these cables down and they'll be able to close. So, what I wanted to mention that I forgot to mention was that at this point in time, these tabs are usually 90 degrees, they stick straight up and you'll just want to take like a needle nose plier and grab it and then you just bend it about 45 degrees so that they will be able to so yeah, you'll be able to close it and they don't stick out and then when it comes to the one over here this one's a little bit more tricky, you have to bend these the same way and then since the cable kind of like would and would hit this part, you want to make sure this small one gets just bent inward a little bit. And just play around with it. Don't bend it too much, but just make sure that it's flat. The way this cable management works, right, is that there are some areas where the plastic is recessed. So... Let me grab the cover. This is my cover. And this will rest against any of the elevated places, right? So this is elevated. And then um, this part here as well. Everything, this whole lip around the edge. And I think this is elevated as well. So you want to make sure that... Um, you route all the wires through these small dips. And usually if you use, this is um, Cat 5E wire. It's pretty cheap. You just cut like two feet of it. And it's basically enough. And then you take one of the, the coax strands and then you use it for wiring and it works pretty well. Yeah, and so that's usually thin enough for you to be able to just take this. And then you go, you put it like this. As you see, it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit beveled. So you would just put this in and then you close it and you screw it in. Yeah. And then, um, as you see, I, have, I left this out for a little bit just to show you guys. But once you route it, route this thing here. Make sure you do route it beneath these cables. It's a little bit cleaner. You don't have to stress. You want to be careful. You don't want to stress these points on the switches. So these two cables and then these two cables. Route them underneath. And you go here. You stick the head in. And then you literally will just force it. And it clicks into place. And then you can fill this with a little bit of hot glue. Make sure you... This is at maximum height, so make sure you don't pass the height, otherwise you'll have trouble closing it. But you can put a bead of hot glue, I'll probably do that. And then you can see you have your connector. And then, yeah, you're almost done. You close it up, put on your six rubber feet, and uh, see you when we do that. 